Hello everyone, today I'm continuing with Power BI and uh, in addition to the gauge chart that I showed you to do last week, I have a couple more tricks that I want to show you in visualization. Uh, they're actually pretty easy and straightforward, so I think um, I will actually introduce uh, three of them, which I found to be very useful. I use them a lot and also very easy to learn uh, all in one video. And I'm going to show you them, uh, all of them one by one just now. OK, so the first one I want to show you is this card in visualization. So um, in a sense, it's just like one simple card that shows you a very critical information that you want to highlight. So for example, um, I added a row. So here actually you see I added a row to show, you know what, for the full year, my actual KPI achievement, let's say it's 105%. And that's one thing that I want to highlight in addition to all my quarterly KPI data. So what I would do is I select this card um, chart, which it shows here. And then I filter on this visual the time because I only want to show my full time, full year. And I drag this actual KPI data into the field. Here we go. So it's now actually showing the 105% that we want them to show. Um, actually, it also shows you the field name, which is the actual KPI for this field. Um, but you know what? Actually, for my purpose, I wanted to highlight to be highlighted as annual KPI. So what you can do, actually, uh, Power PI is very dynamic. It allows you to go back to your fields, select this drop down, and go to rename. And then you can basically rename it to whatever you want. So let, let's say I, I want to name it to be actual annual KPI. And here we go. So it's going to show as that. This is what, uh, very handy when you want to highlight some key, uh, is, uh, key high level information. OK, so that's card. The next thing I want to introduce to you is the multi row card. So um, no, actually, let me. Yeah, so I'll keep this as card and I'll create a new one with this multi row uh, card. So again, this is also highlighting key information, but it shows in a multi row format. So for example, for let's say for my purpose, I actually want to show it. Um, I want to show the sales revenue. So what I would do is I drag my field. I drag sales revenue in here. So what you're seeing here is actually the sum. So if you go to here, if you select the drop down, it's going to show you automatically it's the sum. You can choose average or everything uh, or count or anything. But you know what? For my purpose, I actually want to show it by quarter. So what? how do you do that? Uh, you basically select the time and then drag it on top of your sales revenue. And here we go. So then this multi row card allows you to show the sales revenue by quarter. And um, you can also definitely change the format. So you, to do that, you go to the format. Let's say uh, I want the, my font to be larger so I can increase my tax font. Also, let's say I don't want the sales revenue thing to be repetitive here. I want it to be like a title and sure you can do that. So what you do here is actually you see the category name. Um, it's on now, make it off so that the sales revenue doesn't show. But you still want a title to show what it is, right? So then you turn on the title and drill down and then basically just type in your customized title as you wish. And here you go. So then that's the card that you want to show. Uh, the last thing I want to show in this video is this tree map. So again, like I want to introduce it to you because it's not available in, uh, in Excel, but it's very handy. People use it a lot. So for example, for my tree map, I want to show my sales revenue by quarter. So what I would do is I select the tree map. Um, icon, I drag my sales revenue into my value. It's showing me one big number. And I drag my time into my group because I want to show it by quarter. And then again, you can drag it to whatever format that you want. Um, and let's say, you know what, I don't not only want to show it by quarter, I actually also want to show the volume. So to do that, you go to format 
and then you turn on the data label, and then it's gonna show you the sales vol um, sales revenue um, volume. And you can actually also customize the units that you wanna show. For example, this is by default million. You can show it as the real number if you choose to. So it's very handy like this. And of course, as always, you can also customize uh, the sales, uh, the title, let's say sales revenue by quarter. So yeah, so those three tools are very easy to use, very handy. Um, so I hope that you have learned about them in this video. In my next video, I'm actually going to show you very simple way to format it so that you can probably create your first dashboard report in Power BI with all the tools that we have learned. The only thing that you need to add on to this is just how to format it properly. So that's all I want to cover today. I'll see you in the next video. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to my channel if you like it. If you have any question, please leave me a comment and I will talk to you very soon.